There's no secret that we have a, a gun violence problem here in Edmonton. It's a frightening trend. Gun crimes on the rise in Edmonton. Police now searching for two suspects after a brazen attack on a family. The suspects firing shots at the front and back of a home just before midnight on December 11th. A mother and her three daughters were inside, the children sleeping and narrowly missed being hit. Officers saying the family got really lucky and just a few inches separated life and death. They would have panicked and stood up or ran around the house. Um, someone could have been struck by one of these bullets going into the residence. So yeah, it, caused, it caused her so much concern that she decided to leave Edmonton. Uh, and leave the province. These photos show one of the suspects, police now hoping someone will recognize him. Investigators also releasing images of a dark colored SUV similar to a Honda CRV, which they believe is linked to the attack. Trying to see if we can get some uh, information back from the public on this because um, as you can see, we need to we need to hold these people accountable. There have been 19 shootings in Edmonton just this month. That's a massive increase from 11 last January. The number a grim indicator as there were a total of more than 160 shootings in 2022. That number also higher than the year before. Edmonton Police's Guns and Gangs Unit saying it does not have the support needed to tackle this spike in violent gun crime. There's a lot of priorities in our city that, you know, you have to balance everything that's that's coming up and, and I don't envy the job of our management team to, to balance that and there's only so many resources to go around. If anyone has any information that could help investigators, anonymous tips can be submitted through Crime Stoppers. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.